how to fix Spotify no internet connection. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from App Guide and in today's guide video we are simply going to learn how we can fix the issue if your Spotify app says no internet connection available. But before we get started with the video, if you are new to this channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and without any further ado, let us get started with today's video. So the first thing, let's say when you open Spotify app and it says you something like no internet connection available. In order to fix that, the first thing you definitely want to make sure is to simply check your internet connection when it says no internet connection. So sometimes what happens is that your Wi-Fi could not be working well. So try to use other social media apps and see if your Wi-Fi is working well. If not, then you also want to simply try to switch to the cellular data because most of the times your mobile data is faster than your Wi-Fi. So first of all, simply try to check your internet connection. When once you are sure you have a very reliable internet connection, we are going to open App Store and then search for Spotify. So go ahead, open App Store in the search box, type in Spotify and then simply check whether the Spotify app has an update available or not. If it does, then go ahead and tap on the update button in order to update the Spotify app. Now if this fixes your issue, that's perfectly fine. If it doesn't, the other thing you can also do is to simply open Spotify. Once you open Spotify, you can see that the home interface somehow looks like this. Now, on the top right hand side, you want to simply tap on the settings icon. As we tap on settings icon here at the top, you'll see an option called data saver. You want to make sure that this data saver option is currently turned off. So make sure that this toggle is turned off because when data saver is turned on, it is not going to let you connect to Spotify in a proper way in order to save your data. So make sure that this option is turned off as well. If that fixes the issue, that's perfectly fine. If not, the final thing you can do is to simply uninstall the Spotify app, reinstall it, allow all of the permissions whichever the app requires and see if that has helped you fix your issue. So we hope one of these solutions worked for you. If it did help you, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any more questions, then also make sure to leave them down in the comment section. As always, thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video.